Today I'm going to show you how to uh, mod in voice lines for Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl. So originally I had all of these programs that I used for making mods, but now you only need a few. So obviously first you'll need to install Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl and make sure it is on the most recent version, which it just got updated today, so that's cool. Then you're going to uh, go into your browser, you're going to go into GitHub, and you're going to search Slime Mod Manager. You're going to click on the first result. Then you're going to download the re latest release, which if it's not right here, it'll be right here. Just middle click it, click download, drag and drop it wherever. Then once you have that, you're going to open it. Then you'll be greeted with a mod menu. You're going to make sure that Beppin EX and the voice mod is enabled. Once you do that, you'll have a new few things in your Nickelodeon All-Stars menu. You need to run Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl at least once. You know you need to play a game, immediately quit. You're gonna go into your Steam, you're gonna right click on Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse, and here, as you'll notice, we have Beppin EX. Now, you have a bunch of various different things to add to it. I'm just gonna get rid of Goth and Reporter, I meant. Because, I, I meant to say, we're doing Lucy Loud. And the one for April is terrible. <laughs> you need to gather sources. I have a gigantic list from season three of a bunch of possible voice line clips. What you're looking for in voice lines is the, like you just want it to be short for heavy attacks. You want grunts for light attacks and for specials, certain type of specials, it can be any sort of thing you want. And for your entrances, you can make those way longer. I have one already for Powdered Toast Man. Uploaded this version before we got the voice line and slime mod manager thing. You see I have a bunch of audio clips. We'll go ahead and play those. Leave everything to me. So that's for his entrance. I made it pretty, a little bit, uh, pretty lengthy. For his normal up. Thank you. It's very spiffy. Something that you won't mind hearing spammed. If you start to, it, like any move that gets spammed a lot, like Lucy's up air or, um, you know, Powdered Toast Man's up, it's going to be heard a lot. So be careful of that. Uh, his special up. Cripes! Where he launches himself. We have his get up attack. Are you? Where he lifts himself up, and for his taunt. Well, I guess that takes care of the day's business. I did very, I did a very long one because I don't imagine you'll be spamming taunt. You'll be, you'll be doing it once, and then you'll be done with it. You're not going to be spamming taunt in an actual match. And if you do, it'll be pretty funny when the voices overlap. Then you have the wind sound effect. This is where you can go all out using very long audio clips. So I use his iconic voice line. I, Powdered Toast Man, do solemnly swear to relieve the American citizens of their basic human rights. And that is my modded Powdered Toast Man audio clips. That's just to give you a general idea of things. I organize mine with a few different folders. I create a new source and text. Now, we'll use text later. Yeah, sources is essentially where I got the audio from. I'll explain how that goes. Now, aside from the slime mod manager, you're also going to need the voice pack packer, which in order to get that, we go into Firefox, go back into GitHub once again, we search for the voice pack packer. Right here, Nick voice pack packer. Just download the latest release for that and drag it into your modding tools list. All of these used to be the ones that I used. The only two I use now are AS and MKV Toolmix. AS is Asset Studio GUI, so to find that you just type in Asset Studio GUI. It'll be right here, Asset Studio. You can go to the main page if you want, it's on GitHub as well. You're going to go on click in the latest and you'll download this. So depending on your source, you also might want MKV Toolnix. Now MKV Toolnix is a very distinct sort of application. It's used to get the audio from an MKV file. This is because a lot of the sources that you're going to get from these, they're going to be in MKV. Now go to the place where you have all of your legally acquired copies of your video files. You're going to select them and you're going to copy them into the other folder. I have episode 3, episode 8, episode 11, and episode 14. Now after copying your legally acquired uh, video clips, we use good old MK Toolmix. So load up MK Toolmix. Then you're going to load in your source videos. 
for this, we'll do selfie improvement. We'll go ahead and single out the audio, as you can see by doing that. Now that you have the audio for this, you're going to go ahead and browse. You're going to make sure that it's in this folder. You're going to save, and then you're going to start multiplexing. And there it is. Now, I don't want to get to DMCA'd, so I'm going to mute that part real quick. What you're going to do is you're going to get VLC Media Player, which you can get by going to VLC. Just search that somewhere. You'll find videoland.org, download the latest version. Then you'll go into media, convert and save. You're going to add a file. You're going to go to the file right here, convert and save, convert to an MP3, browse, and we're going to put it in the same folder as before. Now click start and you'll see we have a progress bar going. And now that it's done, we have it in an MP3 format, which Audacity doesn't load in MKA, so we use MK MP3 instead. So then we'll do this with every other one of these. So now that you've got all of your audio sources in a beautiful, beautiful, readable MP3 format, we can close that now. What you're going to do is you're going to go open Audacity, which you can get Audacity by uh, searching Audacity on your favorite browser. You're going to click the first link, audacityteam.org, and download Audacity and install it. And then you might need to get FM FFmpeg as well, so FFmpeg for Audacity. You're going to get, you're going to search for that as well, and you'll look here. You go to the external FFmpeg download site. You're going to click the installer and you're going to install it. Then you'll load Audacity, let that load in. So let's go ahead and take all of the audio clips of our sources and move them into here. Now they are not going to be exactly where we want them to be, which is fine. We'll just need to manage that after the fact. Now if we try playing a section of this, that sounds terrible. Just click solo and then it will only play the audio. Go to your handy sources.txt file and look for exactly the audio clips that you want. Episode 3 at number 256. Choose whatever audio clip suits you, suits your purpose. Some audio clips are going to be terrible. Sometimes your character is extremely backgroundish, not a main character certainly, and so it'll be more difficult than usual to find audio clips for your character. Keep searching because sometimes they have entire episodes for their one character and that'll give you like half of your voice lines. Locate your exact section where the audio clip plays. Ideally you'll want it so that it doesn't have background music, but as you saw from that Powdered Toast Man uh, version, uh, I didn't care and I did it anyways. You also don't have to care necessarily. Literally? Sorry. So we can copy this maybe, 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 maybe. And for this, I'm going to add a new stereo track. We're going to go all the way back here and we are going to paste in all of our voice clips. Then scroll back up. You'll notice we have nothing else for episode three because Lucy, I think that was one of Lucy Loud's very few uh, lines in that entire episode. So we're just gonna close that one and we're going to solo this one instead. And this one, we have two whole lines. 10.42 and 10.48. This, the, the, you can hear that the audio is a little bit bad, so I might not use this one, but we're gonna copy it anyway. The eyes are the windows to the soul. So we're gonna copy this. Then I'm gonna scroll down, scroll all the way to the left. Paste that in. We're gonna scroll all the way back to where we were before. Gasp. Let's, let's see if we can use gasp. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. So we're gonna scroll down here, scroll all the way back to the left. When you are collecting your audio from the sources after you've chosen them, and you don't like them originally, get them anyways. Because if it's, in a, if it's a character with very few actual good voice lines, then um, you're gonna have trouble. Like Lizzie Loud. Sigh. Maybe we include this. We can probably include this. But, you know, whenever I'm getting these audio clips, I'm saying maybe we can use this. Maybe we can use that. Because really, you're gonna cut down on a lot of the audio clips that you have here. Hey guys. Eh, you know, we'll we'll take it anyways. It's not perfect because it has so much music playing in the background. Ugh, I 
don't know if I want to use that, but I was thinking like it'd be the perfect noise for like the for like your down special. Yeah. Maybe this would get used. You know, like because if you're using a minor character, then you might not be able. You might have to just scrounge up all the voice lines you can get for your character straight up, especially for Lucy Loud. The person that made the original voice lines mod, the one, the complete one with all the characters, uh, it feels like they used not very good sources and then ad-libbed some of them, which terrifies me. I hope they didn't. I hope they didn't. That's embarrassing. You have to see the world from a vampire's perspective. Maybe we could use this audio clip. Again, for certain characters, you have to scrounge up what you can get. <laughs> And now that I'm looking back on these, they're not great, but also, like, what else am I gonna use? Because, like, give me those, is that really that great of a line? Whatever. Give me those. It is a pretty good line in of that it doesn't have any audio, but what am I gonna use it in? You have to consider that, too. What am I gonna use this in? Is there music playing in the background? How many sound effects are there playing? Does it mesh well with the rest of everything else? You know, you have to consider these when you're making your thing. You also have to consider not suddenly minimizing the page. Uh, that's a little bit bad too. Okay, no, that's terrible. Even though it's I, like it's silly and stupid, and especially in the context of the show, that was funny. But like the amount of music in there is, makes it unusable. This emergency meeting of the Young Morticians Club is now called to order. That's not the worst line for an introduction. Like you're trying to imagine. Why are these audio clips going to be used? Because if you're not thinking about that while you're looking at your sources, you're going to have a very swell old time getting nothing done. 706. Okay. 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 It's not great that there's music playing in there, but honestly, in, in a lot of cases, you're not gonna notice, especially if you master it correctly to where you don't let voice lines overpower anything. We may be able to use it. No. She's telling me no, so I guess we can't use it, huh? No. All right, well, she's spoken. We can't use the audio clip, sorry guys. Blissful solitude at last. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's like, that sounds like nothing else is in there, which is perfect. What am I saying? Is this going to work? Sort of thing. You'll need Asset Studio GUI. You'll need to open it. You'll need to load a file. You'll need to uh, get the specific shared assets full file with her audio clips or whatever character's audio clips you need. For me, that is going to be 65 because I already uh, looked it up. But if you want to look it up, just take literally all of them, open it up, let it load. Which takes its time, which is why I didn't do that. In fact, I'm not gonna let that go. We're just gonna open up <laughs> number 65. I'm gonna go to, uh, I don't wanna have to re-go, okay. Where's 65? There it is. So I already know that Lucy Loud is in 65. But if you wanted to check, because this does let you do it. I'm pretty sure most attack sound effects are prefixed by their character type. Lucy Loud is very forgiving in of that. It literally is just, um, okay, I guess it wasn't 65 then. Was it? What was it then? Anyways, you gotta look for your character's audio thing and you'll be able to tell because they'll be named something like driver underscore or hero underscore for Powder Toast Man. Okay, now fine, we'll load in the entirety of shared assets by clicking on asterisk assets scrolling all the way down open and then we'll just let it go because it'll take its time to realign scroll down until you find g which is for goth now see she has a bunch of different uh, sound effects she can make so then um special down i think is mislabeled because i think i think her neutral i'm pretty sure yeah her neutral is labeled special down it's like a coffin for your dreams yeah that's a pretty pretty good voice line think about it so here's all the sound effects that we have 
Are we gonna use all of them? No, probably not. But here is what we have. Let's play them all in succession. Sorry. The eyes are the windows to the soul. Yes. Sigh. Hey guys. Yeah. Next, you have to see the world from a vampire's perspective. Give me those. Sigh. Wait. Sigh. This emergency meeting of the Young Morticians Club is now called to order. Okay. No. The horror. Blissful solitude at last. The things do help. It's like a coffin for your dreams. Huh. How about this? Okay, so yeah, that's that's a pretty good lineup, actually. That's a pretty good lineup. <laughs> This is also what I think you'll want to do. You play your character to test out what they should sound like. You'll want to do it by disabling the music and the announcer. Like, the thing about Lucy Lads, like, you have to think about it from, like, the perspective of you, the player, playing the character. Whenever I play Lucy Loud, I imagine her bite to be used pretty frequently to start some get-ups. To start some pretty, uh, pretty snazzy dealios like this. Her most spam moves are essentially her up air, her uh, neutral air, her down air, and her digging graves move. Her down neutral. Avoid making anything more than grunts for your neutrals because we already know how often you use your neutral and also for any attacks that you're likely to spam any strong attack that isn't her down strong is probably in the circumstance of trying to get trying to kick the opponent off the ledge so i would not bind anything uh, that you aren't gonna get sick of hearing to her bite and then her um up b <laughs> Which, especially in vampire mode, I think I'm gonna have be something funny. Imagine if I had a voice line attached to my up air. Wouldn't that be annoying? It's not like anybody else does that. You also should probably add a voice line to a taunt. Cause you should make it pretty long. Cause you're not going to be saying your taunt for very long. You're gonna be, you're gonna be saying your, you're gonna be using your taunt very, very rarely. X, so okay. Once you find the perfect audio clip and ma move set match, you're going to go to export selected assets and then you're going to go to your folder that you originally had everything in. You're going to just put it in there and then it'll create this already for you. Give me just one moment. I need to read the documentation. So this is the character ID. So obviously Lucy Loud's going to be goth and her states. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it was right here, man. I was so fucking dumb. We are trying to get to strong down. So strong down is labeled strong down. What do you know? Strong down. Sorry, we could use for her scythe, so we'll go ahead and do that. That's her uh, strong up. Strong up air, but they're both the same, so it doesn't matter. So we'll do select that. Go ahead and do new, paste that in there. I'm going to export the selected asset here. Close that now. Audio clip. Strong up. Sorry. 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 That's a lot quieter than I thought it was going to be, but we need to make it like. Sorry consistent so let's do like seven sorry because if you make them all slightly different like loudnesses it's gonna be obvious in game it's gonna sound weird seven because then I'd at least like to hear the scythe now we'll export this as an OGG file as strong up so with strong up let's make sure that strong up is one of her things strong up right there okay export as an OGG and we'll do this as the um, grabbed yeah hopefully that works right we'll use powder toast man because he has my voice lines the one I hard modded in no time to lose. do we do it for her strong nair let me think about it the sound effect again yeah 
Okay, so air strong. Yeah, we'll do air strong mode with this sound effect. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that, I guess. An effect amplified to like 10. Yeah. Yeah. And then export this as an OGG. We'll make this. I was gonna title it Yeah, even though it's gonna be for her air strong mid. And then we can copy that for her. For just her regular strong mid, because it'll be exactly the exact same attack. Strong mid, air strong mid. I don't think I'll ever be using strong mid off of the air. But let's just do it anyways. Strong mid. Yeah. Yeah. In fact. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can delete that now. Next. Two, ten. Next. So what would next be used for? We'll do it for her um, up strong. Next. Export as an OGG. So strong. Wait a second. What's this? Sorry. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. So we're just gonna do one and two. So strong down one. We'll just do strong down one for now, and then we can edit it later if we're wrong. You have to see the world from a vampire's perspective. We'll do this as her um, <laughs> winner, maybe. It's winner and entrance. We'll do like nine export winner. Do wait for when she does her upbeat. So I amplify this like 10. Wait. Okay. We can maybe use this for something. So like for what would this be used for though? We'll do respawn. You know what? We'll use multiple size. So this is... I'm gonna create a new new one. We're gonna paste this. We're gonna amplify it to 11. Sigh. Export as an OGG, so we'll have um, respawn one, respawn two, uh, respawn three. If we have a grab option, yeah, we have a grab option. So we'll do this. Give me those. Paste that in there. Amplify to like eight. Give me those. Actually, one more, and then we'll export this as an OGG. To grab. Hey guys. You know what? Okay, <laughs> we're gonna make this slightly rare chance of getting instead of a sigh when she respawns. So that'll be like eight. Hey guys. We'll export this and then we'll do respawn three or four. The horror. And then we could do the horror when um what could we use it for? Let's see what sound effects we have left aside the, from that. The things. So what do we have now? We have air strong mid, air strong up. We have strong down. Two different versions next. of strong down. No. We'll do next for her um, air strong down. And we'll do special down one with this. Because I'm only going to be, uh, be using that. It's like a coffin for your dreams. We're gonna be using that only for her um, special down one. Let's see what we can use for taunt. Blissful solitude at last. The things do help. We'll do this here. To air strong Next. Down. We'll do air strong down land. Emergency meeting of the young morticians club is now called to order. Okay. And then we have okay. No, I just didn't delete it yet. Call to order. We'll do that as our entrance sound effect. Okay. And so now we have all of our sound effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to here, char goth, paste it in there, and do that. No, run anyway. So then I've got our clips. Now let's edit the package.json so that we can do all of the audio things that we want to do. And then let's look at one, which is from something else. So. Open archive package.json. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it in an editor. So. Yes. Stop. Cool. 
actually, since I want to edit this one anyways, let me do that, and then let me, um, back into here. We can drag and drop it right here, and then we can drag it into here so that we can make edits to it. Alright, yeah, and then we need a silence audio pack. I forgot about that. So let me, uh, let me steal the, um, the original from one of these. So I think all of them have them. So let's open archive. Silence. Drag and drop that silence down wave. Open one of these guys. Make sure I don't do double clips. Add silence. Yeah. Path clip slash silence that is GG. Volume one point out, even though it's there's nothing in that silence thing, I think, right? Yeah, it's literally silence. <laughs> okay. Now let's get some of our audio groups. Then in here we have to get name, clips, moves. Okay, so clips. ID air strip down land. percent of the time it says it and then the other 20 percent it doesn't and then we need to do moves copy a few of these i guess Three for two we have air strong mid I like a 70 percent chance instead This one's got a lot, so it's gonna be respawn one. This will be all for respawn. They're each gonna have a 25% chance of happening. Let's copy this instead. Let's add a comma so that we can make it repeatable. Respawn two is at 25. We copy this and then paste and then paste and then get rid of that comma. Three and four. Four. And that's for all the respawns. We have winner. Which literally does not matter. Now that we've got that figured out, the JSON done. Make sure it's the right one. Yeah. Then let's go into here, go up, delete this original package.json, and drag and drop that new one in. Yes. I'll pop and paste this. But then name it dot voice line instead. Yes, voice pack, not voice lines. Yeah, copy and then you're gonna go to your Bepany X voice packs and then paste it in. And then, in order to get it up and running, gotta get rid of Nick All Stars Brawl. Close that. Let's reopen Nick and Lodian All Stars Brawl. And hope that it worked, because we spent a while on this. It's literally like 3 a.m. now. I'm gonna turn on the music and the announcer, just so we can hear it when compared to everything else. We'll see if it's ungodly loud or not, because it might be really loud. Can you imagine what would happen if I map something to this? to all of the jabs that I'm doing right now. Let me go to Teeter. Come on, knock me off on Teeter. Knock me on Teeter. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I love that it just no. That's so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So now you've seen how it works. You've seen how it's done. So that is how to do it. Goodbye.